One of the most important things to consider when trying to build muscle and improve your overall health is your protein intake. But, let's be real, not everyone has the time or resources to get enough protein from whole food sources. That's where protein powder comes in. It's a convenient and easy way to boost your protein intake, but with so many options out there, it can be overwhelming to know where to start. In this video, we're going to talk about the best ways to use protein powder, whether it's worth buying, and the different forms of protein powder available. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of how to use protein powder to reach your fitness goals. Protein is essential for building and repairing muscle tissue, and it can also help with weight loss and overall health. But, in order to see the benefits of protein, you need to make sure you're getting enough of it. The recommended daily intake of protein for an adult is 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. For example, if you weigh 150 pounds, you need about 55 grams of protein per day. But, as we all know, life can get in the way, and it's not always easy to get enough protein from whole food sources. That's where protein powder comes in. It's a convenient and easy way to boost your protein intake, especially when you're on the go. Plus, it's easy to customize the amount of protein you're getting, making it easy to reach your daily protein goals. Now, let's talk about the different forms of protein powder available. The most common forms are whey, casein, and soy protein. Whey protein is a fast-acting protein that is great for post-workout recovery. It's quickly absorbed by the body and is a great option for those looking to build muscle. Casein protein, on the other hand, is a slow digesting protein that is great for sustained energy throughout the day. This makes it a great option for those looking to lose weight or maintain their weight. And soy protein is a plant-based option for those who are vegan or lactose intolerant. But, what's the best way to use protein powder? One of the most popular ways is to add it to a shake or smoothie. This is an easy and tasty way to get a quick boost of protein. You can also add it to oatmeal or yogurt for a protein-packed breakfast. And, if you're feeling adventurous, you can even use protein powder in baking. Protein powder can be added to pancakes, muffins, and even cookies for a protein boost. Another great way to use protein powder is to use it as a meal replacement. Mixing protein powder with milk or water can create a high-protein shake that can help you feel full and satisfied for hours. This is a great option for those who are trying to lose weight or maintain their weight. Now, you may be wondering, is protein powder worth buying? The answer is, it depends on your individual needs and goals. If you're looking to boost your protein intake and don't have time to get it from whole food sources, then protein powder is a great option. However, it's important to note that protein powder is not a magic solution and should be used in conjunction with a healthy diet and regular exercise. In conclusion, protein powder can be a convenient and easy way to boost your protein intake, but it's important to choose the right form of protein powder for your individual needs and goals. Remember to always use protein powder in conjunction with a healthy diet and regular exercise. And always make sure to read the label and check the ingredients before buying. Some protein powders may contain added sugars or artificial ingredients, so it's important to choose a high-quality protein powder that is free of these unnecessary additives. Another thing to consider is the taste of the protein powder. Some powders may have a chalky or bland taste, so it's important to find a powder that you enjoy the taste of. Many protein powders come in a variety of flavors, so you can choose one that you like. Lastly, it's important to remember that protein powder is not a necessary addition to your diet, but it can be a useful tool in reaching your fitness goals. It's important to have a balanced diet that includes a variety of whole food sources of protein, such as chicken, fish, eggs, and beans. In summary, protein powder can be a convenient and easy way to boost your protein intake, but it's important to choose the right form of protein powder for your individual needs and goals. Remember to always use protein powder in conjunction with a healthy diet and regular exercise, read the label, and choose a high-quality protein powder that you enjoy the taste of. Thanks for watching and we hope you found this information helpful in reaching your fitness goals. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fitness and nutrition tips. And as always, consult with a healthcare professional before making any changes to your diet or exercise routine. If you are looking for the best supplements to boost your muscle growth even further check the links in the description and I will see you in the next video.